me just like the other fellas, young fellas. We were scared. So we fought as hard as we could fight. For most people, August 17th is a normal weekday, but 68 years ago, it's a day that still haunts one occurring war veteran. In August of 1950, U.S. and South Korean forces have been pushed back to a 140 square mile perimeter called Pusan. On August 15th, a mortar platoon under the 5th Cavalry Regiment, stationed on Hill 303, were overrun by overwhelming North Korean forces and captured. Among them was Kentucky native James Rudd. I felt in one way I felt dishonored Another way, I felt helpless. My buddy is shot over here in the foxhole with me, and the blood is spurting up like a fountain in his left shoulder here. It was like a fountain, a drinking fountain. And I set my rifle down in the foxhole and pulled off my first aid packet because I knew he was going to bleed to death. His name was Thurman E. Purser. He was from Alabama. He was a heavyweight boxer in, back in Japan with me. I was a featherweight boxer, and we were close, like brothers. By the time that I got that first aid pouch on him and kind of stopped that bleeding, I reached over to pick my rifle up and they they were surrounded our foxhole. In total, 46 Americans were taken as POWs. They were all tied together behind their backs and were forced to march around Hill 303 and inhumanely treat it for the following three days. By midday on August 17th, U.S. forces were advancing on Hill 303. In panic, the North Korean commander ordered all American POWs executed. They lined up about 17 of them. Um, well, it was a ditch like. Uh, when they motioned for us to get up, these two boys on each side, they got up and I didn't. I knew what was coming. And I'd been singing one song that I remembered in Sunday school and my mother would take me to Sunday school. Blessed Jesus, hold my hand, dear Lord, there is a brand new box for me. I sung that over and over. And I asked God uh, to save me. At 2 p.m., on August 17th, North Korean forces opened fire on American POWs 
on my left fell backwards and he fell partially across me. I couldn't see out of my left eye then, but it fell that way. Then the other one fell shortly, and he fell across me this way. But every time that a bullet would hit one of them that was laying on me, It would jerk them. They'd go, uh, uh. By five in the afternoon on the 17th, American forces had retaken Hill 303 and discovered the remains of the massacre. 41 American POWs had been killed. James and four other Americans survived the massacre. After the massacre, James would return to this unit in Korea two more times before going back home to the United States. Today, James is the last living survivor of the massacre at Hill 303. To this day, he is grateful to God that he survived, but he has never forgotten the names and faces of the buddies he left behind.